We're applying for residency. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Sorry about the silly intro, but obviously I'm excited because tomorrow is when residency applications officially open for the rest of the programs. And you would know that if you follow me on Instagram. Um, so follow me if you haven't, and uh, we can you can see what life behind uh, the camera looks like. Um, but this video is going to be episode, I believe five, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, of the Residency Chronicles. And it's just going to be talking about what the process will be like from this point on. Applications have been turned in. Um, so tomorrow is September 15th um, as of making this video and residency start to see all my stuff. All right guys, what is going on? Lex here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Sorry about the silly intro, but you know I'm excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you know why. It's because tomorrow, residency applications open. And that means um, different programs can start seeing my application. So today is going to be episode number five, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's just going to be a quick spiel on what the process is going to be like from here on out. So, so this week I turned in my residency application, super excited. And um, tomorrow, different programs will be able to see my extracurriculars, my personal statements, my letter of recommendations, uh, and my grades. And so it's going to be potentially that I can start getting interviews as early as sometime next week or the weeks after. Depending on what field you go into when you apply to residency here in the United States, different specialties and schools will offer interviews at different times. So certain specialties like urology um, can be on a totally different uh, timeline than somebody like me who's applying to internal medicine. So the goal of this whole process is you want to want to apply to enough schools that you give yourself a shot to match. Um, I'll go over the match in a different video because it's pretty complicated, but it essentially it's a computer system that when I get my interviews, um, I have to basically rank the schools that I uh, interviewed at from a list of, let's just say I interviewed at 10 schools. Then I would rank them from one to 10. And then the schools themselves interviewed a collection of students. Um, let's say they interviewed 100 students and they had 10 spots. So they would rank the students uh, one to 100. And the, the system would start matching it to where I got into a school that I matched in order and the schools, um, if they only had 10 spots to fill, um, got their ideal, their highest uh, people on their list, right? So if I ranked to school number one and I was in their top 10, um, I would go there. But if I ranked to school number one and they had, I was like 12, then I would be having to hope that there's other people on the list ahead of me that choose to go somewhere else. So that's kind of how the match works. And it's a computer system. Uh, on one day in March, you learn with the rest of your medical school um, peers where you're going by opening up an envelope. Obviously, it be taking you guys when that moment comes. Um, but the idea of residency um, is to try to get enough of those interviews under your belt. That way you can rank a good amount of schools, but it's also get to get enough, enough exposure. Every program is different in some sense. Um, they can be a community program, they can be a private program, um, they can be a, a big residency class, or they can be a small one. And uh, they can have different uh, potentials for future careers. Um, some of them may uh, be where you just finish residency and you go out um, and get a job. And other ones are more likely where you get a job or you, you do residency and you, you go for fellowship. So. It really depends on where you go. So it's nice to get that kind of exposure, different cities, different environments, different patient populations, a lot of things to consider. So when I was deciding for the schools I wanna to go to, one, I decided on only applying to cities and institutions that I would honestly consider going to if I matched. Um, you never wanna be in a position where you match to somewhere and you have regrets. So while I did apply to less programs, I definitely scrutinized each program severely and I only selected the ones that I would honestly be okay. Me and my, uh, my, my significant other would be okay with going to. Um, and so I'm really excited to get you know any offers that, that'd be a, a, a grateful moment um, because it's a, it's a program that I'm considering. So I'm glad that they'd be considering me. So I'm trying to uh, get some exposure, get enough interviews under my belt uh, within the next few weeks. And then I'm gonna start scheduling interviews anytime from like mid-October to late December, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll obviously be taking you guys on the interview trail, but um, 
that's kind of where the process is. And it's really exciting because now it's kind of a little bit out of my hands. Uh, I'm waiting for people to like look at me on paper, which is really hard to do and saying, you know, I think you may be good enough uh, or worth a shot. And so fingers crossed um, that uh, we start getting some interviews soon. Uh, as always, I'll be taking you guys on the journey, not telling you the schools I'm applying to, obviously, um, just for confidentiality's sake and for uh, the respect of the institutions themselves. But just giving you an idea of what it's like to be in this process. It's stressful. It's, you know, it's anxiety provoking. Uh, but at the same time, it's fun. Like, this is this is what we signed up for. You're, you're about to become a physician, which is exciting and terrifying at the same time. Um, but I'm ready. I, I'm really confident. I, I feel good. Um, and I just I just want to get um, some exposure to these different institutions. It's been four years since I've done the interview trail myself, so I'm going to be a little rusty. And so I'm going to have to look up um, things that I need to reflect and learn about myself. And that's going to be uh, covered in a video that I already made, which I'll link up here, um, which is how I prepare for my interviews in general. So if you guys are having your med school interviews, um, this will be a perfect uh, segue to check that out. So enough blabbing uh, and babbling. So enough babbling. Uh, you guys get the point. Residency applications are in. Uh, hopefully some interviews start to trickle in within the next few weeks. And so I'll take you guys on my first couple and then uh, we'll go from there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this mini exciting, mini huge announcement. Um, thank you guys so much for following my journey um, so thus far. I'm really appreciative of all you guys. I really do act like I'm talking to just you uh, on the other side of the screen and not the other, you know, many subscribers so just thank you for taking the time out to watching this video from start to finish uh, as always uh, if you guys have any questions that I can answer on your journey to help you a little bit please comment down below um, most of my subscribers know this already but if you comment down below with any questions or anything or if you just put the hashtag the MD journey uh, I'm always picking one random subscriber sometimes too where uh, they get um, my books and my video course for free so um, if you want to are interested in getting those for free and you have a question or if you just want to put that in the journey, put that in the comment section down below. Uh, but I'm going to end this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Um, and I will take you guys on my residency um, process. But um, again, no more babbling. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.